Hello, welcome to another Mill City Roasters educational short. Today we're going to have fun with cars. Yeah, sweet. <laughs> Not real cars, but little cars. Yeah, little cars. Um, we are going to talk to you about charge temperature <gasps> and what that means for your coffee. And mm. in order to illustrate that today, we have some racetracks and we have a car. Hot wheels and charge temperature. Yes. I like it. If your charge temperature is too high, Derek, what happens? What happens? Let's try that. So let's just pretend we're charging very high. Okay. And we're gonna, I think we're gonna take a time out and just say this is our green coffee, right? Yes. Okay, this is our green coffee, this is our roaster, and this is the charge. Let's do Too this. High. You ready? Are you ready? Yep. Are you, is everyone ready? Okay, here we go, people. Oh, oh I think that was kind of a fail. <laughs> I think that was a, Okay, that let's was, start that, again. That was, that was on me. <laughs> I'm still new to this whole roaster thing. I'm new to the roasting world. Okay, one, two, three, high charge. Whoa. Oh my God, that was out of control. Out of control. It left, the, it left the ramp, it left the process, the profile, it completely deviated from. I had this great idea about how I wanted this coffee to taste and they're mid roast, not even mid roast, I just completely screwed it up. And what do you think the flavor profile of that coffee would be if it went off the rails and went too fast out of that turnaround? I, I think I'm going to like it. I think it's going to be very charred on the outside and very raw on the inside. <laughs> Thinking that would be great, right? Oh. Maybe I took my Ethiopian York <laughs> chef like that way. I created this complexity. No? Okay, I'm sorry. Okay. okay maybe no. it was past crop Brazil mm. and then maybe that made it a little exciting. I'm sorry, Brazil. <laughs> I didn't mean it like that. I, I like Brazil. So in the event that you were to have a charge temperature that is too low, Ooh. or let's say there's not enough energy in your drum, maybe even your thermocouple reads the correct temperature, okay, okay. but you didn't warm your coffee roaster up for long enough, right, something right. like that. What happens if it's too low? Okay, I got this new Kenyan. It's very dense. I'm a little afraid to burn it. Yep. So I'm going to go in really low and slow and see what I can do with it. Let's try Let's it. Let's try it. Okay, here we go. Okay, new Kenyan. I don't want to screw this up, Joe. Oh, you screwed oh. it up. What that is that like maybe I was trying for yellow coffee, white coffee, white coffee. I think you need to try again. <sighs> okay. What happens with the uh, with the coffee if there's not enough energy in the drum? It just you're never gonna have the energy to move that coffee through right, the profile right, right, right. like you want to. Nope, you're gonna be hitting it with tons of energy. You're probably gonna end up with the un like unbalanced cup too, but kind totally. of opposite unbalanced. Yep. You know, probably no development at all, not much caramelization, flat, boring. Yeah. It's gonna taste kind of like that ramp you just took. <sighs> Dude, that's terrible. And the thing that that was a Kenyan to start with. Oh man, uh, I think I just lost my roaster cred. Well, let's say you've found the correct charge temperature okay. for this coffee. All right, cool. Everything is set up. Let's see how the coffee takes the profile. My confidence is back. Yep. Okay, wash, wash your chef. Okay, here we go. Wash your good chef. I got my profile. Whoa. Ooh, that was pretty solid. That was a perfect roast. I like it. It stuck <laughs> to the profile. It, 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 I think it tastes like stone fruit and Meyer lemon. Meyer lemon and stone fruit. That's like exactly it. what you were going for. <laughs> That's what I was going for. <laughs> Meyer lemon and stone fruit. <laughs> so now I've got a couple of questions. If we have a drum that, uh -oh. say, requires a heart, higher charge temp. Right. And you're going to have a lower turnaround, meaning Excellent. that you're going to come up out of that turnaround more quickly yeah. and say that is the perfect curve. What does your rate of rise look like on that roaster? It's probably going to be pretty quick, huh? Yeah. Yeah. You're going to have a pretty fast, pretty smoking rate of rise coming out of mm -hmm. that. You know, like you're coming in with all that energy. So you're going to turn probably a little quicker, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? And you're probably going to start rocketing through that rate of rise, depending on the exact temperature of what your coffee turned at. That's right. So if that rate of rise is high on your machine, it could be the case that you mm. have a thin thermocouple. That's it. Right, right, right. But if right. you have a thicker thermocouple, it could be the case right. that you have a lower turnaround and it may be later and your roast may look more slow, right. but you're still following the appropriate curve. Right. That's wild, huh? How do you check to see whether, which curve is best? I mean, for me, I, I, I'm simple. I just taste it. <laughs> is that? This has been another educational short from Mill City Roasters. Friends, just taste your coffee. <laughs>